welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 creative sim series called The Walking Dead Meet The Sims 4 and I have to tell you I have to express I have to express how much I love The Walking Dead the TV show and the video game by Telltale Games it's the best I have to mm. It's the best thing ever that's ever been created from video games to TV by on AMC. It's like the best thing ever. And I love it. And because one thing I like about The Walking Dead, that they're, I feel like they're huge advocates about storytelling and character development. Like the show itself was like the first two seasons, first three seasons were kind of like that. But the video game itself was a huge, huge game changer when it came to storytelling, character development, the way their personalities, the way they act, the animations, all around fun and cool things when it came to the apocalypse and how they were able to survive and protect and 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 gain and earn relationships throughout their lifetime. And I really, really love um, Kenny, who is one of the main characters from the Walking Dead series, the, the video game. It's, he is a character when it comes to his family, he will do anything and everything to protect his family no matter what. And that's what I like about Kenny, because he's a huge advocate about family and their safety, make sure that they're well fed, protected, and they're, and they're safe. And I feel like that there's another character in The Walking Dead in season one, his name is Lee Everett, and he's the very first main character that you actually control in season one, where he, I feel like that he is one of those characters that is also another huge advocate about family and um, making sure that they'll, he'll do anything and everything to protect them. And when Lee met Clementine in the first episode in season one, I feel like that Lee is a, a is more like a father figure to Clementine because her parents were in Savannah at the time, and I think they were like on vacation or whatever. But later in the long run, she found out they kind of turned into these zombies, and it was kind of heart it was kind of heart wrenching to find out find that out at a very very young age. And so I hope that one day, like Clementine, will grow into a very mature young woman, which she kind of did is throughout season two and three. But in season one, she was still kind of learning the fact that, okay, this is, there's an apocalypse, there's zombies, she has to figure out a way to protect herself, and Lee guided her the like, guided guided her through the whole entire way until episode five. So, like, he taught her how to shoot a gun, how to kill these zombies, um, cut her, he, um, he cut her hair so her hair wouldn't get snatched by these zombies every now and then, and I love that about about Lee, and I really miss him a lot, but in season two, um, Kenny was, um, wasn't really there at the time, but when Clementine met Kenny again, because Clementine thought Kenny died, but he didn't, because he, like, he found another group, and so it was a cool time during that time when Clementine met Kenny, and it was, like, a huge, wonderful moment, and it was a, a nice, nice thing, because, like, because the first time they met was at Herschel's farm in season one, because Lee, Clementine, met, um, Kenny, Katja, and Duck, who is, Katja and Duck is Kenny's, um, wife and son, but they kind of died in season one, which is kind of, again, upsetting. So I feel like in season two, Kenny and Clementine really connected a lot more. And again, Kenny will do anything and everything to protect the people that he loves. And so that's kind of like Clementine. And he met Sarita, which was his girlfriend at the time, but later died in season two. But still, a lot of things happened and he lost a lot. He lost, he had a, a lot of things has happened to, had happened to Kenny. Like he lost his family. He lost Clementine at the time, but met again, lost Sarita, and he's he's been through a lot. It's a lot of heartbreak, a lot of um, stress, tiredness, and just not really eating properly. And so I wanted to try and replicate him in season two before the accident and before Carver beat him senselessly. senselessly. So I kept him the way he was in season two in the, in the very beginning because I felt like since he was, again, still stressed out, tired, and not really eating a lot, I wanted to replicate that a lot in this character of Kenny. So I gave him the aspiration of super parent, because again, he's family oriented, hot headed, and also well around confident as well. So I posted a picture on Twitter of Kenny and his little hideout, and a lot of you guys really, 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 really loved the way I made it Kenny from The Walking Dead, and you guys said that he looks very realistic and looks exactly like him. And I'm very happy that you guys like him a lot. So, in the comments below, let me know which character should I recreate next from the Walking Dead video game and which season. Because that will really help me 
um, get a good understanding of what they actually look like in that season, what they act like, what they're dressing like, what they what they do. So that really helps me a lot. And I really do like making my characters semi-realistic when it comes to like a video game or a sim or like a idea that I, I came up with. So that's what I try to do when it comes to stuff like this. And I like to give them a personality, a storyline, a backstory, um, the way they act, the way they dress. And so that's what I really do with all my characters, my let's plays, my builds, my creative sims. And that's all what I do. Storytelling, character development, um... Uh, my builds, I like to give them a sense of functionality and a sense of usability when it comes to like clutter and where is everything placed, how the how the ha house is going to look. And with my sims, I like to give them a backstory, the personality, the way they act, the way they dress, so they can get a sense of realism, of course. My Let's Plays, storytelling is all around storytelling, and that's what I love. But anyway, I have to say that this is going to be my most inspired favorite series I've ever created in my entire life and I'm so excited for more stuff to happen and so yeah let me know in the comments below what do you think of Kenny and um who should I create next and what season and um uh, it's gonna be really cool so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in the very next video bye